Hello everyone and welcome back Libra for the astrological tarot reading forecast for April 2019. Now Libra, I am going to be reading as usual from the 24 karat gold deck of Nefertari, Bride of Ramses II. And for you, I'm going to be giving a full insight for the month ahead and a six card spread. All right, this is for Libra. Here we go. Show us Libra, show us Libra, show us Libra, show us Libra, show us Libra. Right. Six of Cups, Four of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, One of Scarab, One of Cups, The Lover. All right. So, I see progression for you, Libra, in the month ahead. All right. It started out in March with a terrible loss here. Something may have happened. I feel that we may have lost a family member or a loved one of ours had lost a dear father to them or a mother to them. Something had happened that had brought you guys back together. We have here the Six of Cups here representing family reunion, coming back to family members that we haven't seen in a while, and having a reunion, a sit down, a dinner, an undertaking of bringing ourselves collectively together. Now, Libra, um, with this trip that you had taken, or have taken uh, back in March or the beginning of this month or so, I have here the Four of Pentacles, and the Four representing April of this month here. This highlighted this energy about the month for you. You're going to be shedding back a lot of layers. She's peeling herself back here. She's like an onion. She's kind of peeling herself back. The Four of Pentacles up here is representing growth and expansion. I feel for those of us who are business owners are going to see a lot of uptake in customers. This is going to be the month of our comeback. This is going to be the month of our growth. I feel that if we may be filling in slots for classes or filling in slots for um, placement of people. It's going to go very well and very profitable. I also have the Ten of Pentacles. Reflection of this month is going to feel like the Ten of Pentacles. It's really odd for you to have this energy with Taurus in Uranus right now, representing financial slowdown and struggle, but you're prospering in this energy. You're not affected by this at all, especially those who've got Libra moon signs. I feel that you may resonate with this as much as I have a Libra moon sign myself. I'm in areas of a Libra moon sign. Such polar, such polarity is there. Very interesting. But it's like the wind feeling the fire here. So I feel that your passion with Mars being very active right now during this Aries season, being uh, Mars in Gemini representing diplomacy, you're going to come across in the business world as being very negotiable, being that big shot business salesman or saleswoman that's going to be coming forward and just selling every car in the lot or just, yeah, I feel like you're going to be doing awesome. Your sale representatives are going to skyrocket this month. Many of you Libras are entrepreneurs. Many of you Libras are freelancers. And some of you, those who are working for jobs like a car dealership or so. I could see Libra doing a car dealership. I really do. I see a lot of you Libras tend to work around that scenario. You're businessmen. You tend to um, deliberately sell things. You're really good at selling things. You're really good at giving a spiel, a speech uh, on how you're presenting an item. You're very good at convincing which is why I have here the Knight of Swords for you as your next card. You know, just how you're coming across. You're coming cr across on a commercial level this month, Libra. You're being commercialized. You're commercializing yourself, your antiquities, your um, belongings. You may be doing a lot of clearing of your house right now, donating perhaps to Goodwill, um, doing a lot of clearing of your house. But this is coming forward as a messenger of light. The knight represent, represents coming forward as a messenger, how you're coming across the people with the card of the swords here. And the knight coming forward and just saying, this is what I'm selling. This is what I'm doing. I am genuine. You know, you're kind of giving yourself a genuine attitude. You're kind of, you're very peppy this month. You're very up and about. And I'm getting the one of chalices here. I feel that you may be paying off debts or family karma or something here is coming forward here with the one of one of cups here. And this is just saying that you're making forward motion progress, but you're also healing an aspect of you that's been damaged from the past. Something is being, being healed here, and it's tying in for you very closely with the card of the lover as your next card. 
And I'm just seeing um, the card of one of Scarab here presents water, the aspect of water. Perhaps we may be dealing with a water sign that we may be dating. Perhaps this could be an airy Aquarius that we could be dating, like an Aquarius sign, watery air sign, very watered down air sign. They, they make it rain in a way of a sense, I guess you could say. Maybe they're on this journey with you. Um, I think I'm picking up on Aquarius here for some reason coming through in this reading. Um, perhaps we're dealing with an Aquarius, but we're dealing with mainly water with this, this cup here. But this also has the aspect of family, the aspect of recovering from a loss, recovering from something that we've been dealing with. For those of us in a relationship with the card of the lover, you either are working on a relationship or working towards one. This is the card of soulmate. And I feel that many of us Libra right now know who it is that we want, know who it is that we want to be with, know who it is that we desire deep down inside. And the card of the lover is coming forward saying, this is your month of miracles to happen for you. This is your month of unity for you to happen for you. Your goals are going to be accomplished, both in your, rom your romance world and going to also be in your financial sector. And Libra, I'm seeing for you with this card of this energy here, this is a very strong Gemini-like energy. There's a lot of air in this card with the card of the lover. It's representing two different personalities coming together. Um, it can be two different and different people, but it's a soulmate connection, one that shares a journey with you and does not like to see you sad or depressed and wants to share that burden with you. And um, so Libra, I'm seeing a massive progress in your love life for 2019 of April. I'm seeing financial sector, you looking like the businessman and businesswoman, taking more of a leader aspect. I feel that your sales, you may find yourself being the employee of the month this month. You may find yourself being, uh, looking at your sales and um, doing a quarterly report and recognizing it back at June, realizing uh, when June comes around, oh wow, well April was my best month so far. Um, so I'm seeing mega progress happening here. The month has just begun. Here we are on the third. And that's my message for you, Libra. The current path that you're on is just going to require you to use that built-up energy that you have right now. It's going to require you to align yourself really strongly right now. I feel that Uranus and Taurus is really benefiting you for some reason because you're working on clearance right now. The word clearance comes to mind. I feel like you're going to be doing a lot of clearance sales, a lot of clearing of space. And it's blessing you in the process. It's not hurting you, but anything but blessing you. But um, that is my reading for you, Libra. And um, I just want to let you know, guys, please check out the blue link at the bottom of my video. It will take you to my page where I do live shows. I also offer free private readings. Um, well, paid private readings, but free private readings on the show where it's, you know, you being brought forward individually. Um, I also offer paid private readings as well that are more in depth with unlimited questions, unlimited card pulls, and no time limits. And it's all for an affordable price. Please check out the blue link at the bottom of my video. Uh, I am the Claire Audient Indigo Martian of Sirius, wishing you all a wonderful day. Until next time, Libra, thank you so much.